Hi and welcome, my name is Paul Wilson from Open Reality and this tech brief is on stream splitting. So what is the business problem? Organisations like the BBC are changing the way that we perceive and view internet, TV and content and what is acceptable during business hours. Users can access this content from their home PCs, there's now the expectation that these live feeds are also available to the business desktop. The problem is more and more of these events are becoming during business hours, they could be news events or sporting events. In 2010 we've got the World Cup, Wimbledon, cricket, rugby and of course Formula One as well. So what happens if a business chooses to ignore these problems? Well, users will access these sites anyway. BBC is pretty much available to 99% of businesses currently and that means all of the content is available to users as and when they demand. The drain of bandwidth, each video feed is somewhere between 600k and 1 meg, can potentially mean with many people accessing this that remote access solutions will fail or software as a service will fail. The problem is certainly not going away and if anything it's just the tip of the iceberg. Which leads me to introduce Bluecoat. Bluecoat are the market leaders in Secure Web Gateway and with one vendor there are multiple ways of solving this problem. We can choose the packet shape. This basically means that an organisation can align what a wide area network or internet circuit is used for and allowing certain bandwidth to certain applications and restricting others and prioritising others over this. Or we can content control so we can lock down parts of websites like the BBC. Or on what this video covers is live stream splitting. And in essence, live stream splitting is the concept that there is one feed out to the internet or the server where the stream is being served from. And then once that has hit the proxy server, that stream is then split up into as many different individual feeds when it's on high bandwidth local area networks as people that are demanding that particular feed. So in essence, one feed out to the internet and then multiple feeds to clients on the local area networks. So another day and more streaming content available on the BBC website. So uh, what we're going to do here is to show you the stream splitting functionality of the Bluecoat Proxy SG. Let's go to the BBC Sport page and you can see straight away they're advertising live uh, European Grand Prix practice. Just going to click on this, see a photo of Lewis, click in here and great. Straight away I'm going to put somewhere between an extra 600k and one meg per second onto our internet loading and that's just for one user. What we're doing today though is we're using the proxy SG from Bluecoat to stream split this which means no matter how many people are watching the European Grand Prix practice there will be one feed out to the internet and there will be a separate feed for each of the PCs that have uh, gone to this on the network. So what I'm going to do now is uh, whilst we watch that we can see A how smooth this is uh, and B I can now just go into the, uh, the proxy SG functionality so this is the the look and feel of the product and what I want to do is go to statistics and then active sessions go into active sessions and I want to show by proxy service and flash here we go my PC is 150.200 going to that server 213 155 154 140 and you can now see here's that session going up I've requested 6.4 meg down to 373k so that's a huge saving over standard that's been running now for one minute and the reason that is is because there's another session down here which is also accessing that so that's the original live feed where we're giving no savings on so there's, there's our one feed out to the internet and that's then being stream split down to the individual PC so you can see here 9.3 meg down to 554k what I can also do is just confirm that in the packet shaper. We can go in here into the blue coat packet shaper. We can see flash video still running at 922k per second and has been for the last eight minutes or so. And that brings us to an end on video stream splitting. We hope you found it of interest. For more information or videos, go to www.openreality.co.uk.